Hello, and welcome back to Stone Shard, episode number two. At the end of the last episode, I mentioned that the last episode might not be going up. However, what I have in fact decided to do is I'm going to upload episodes one and two together. And I'm going to basically, you may, you may want to skip episode one. I'm going to put like a disclaimer, I guess. Episode one. You know, obviously, if you're here, you've either already watched it or skipped it. So why am I saying so? Mainly for myself. I'm going to put like a in the description or something like that. If you want to, you can just skip this episode. It's a lot of reading and rules. If you want to see the basics of the rules explained to you from uh, the game instead of from me. So what I am going to do is I'm going to give like the, the very basic rundown of the rules of this game, right? Uh, which is... In essence, it's it's. I think this game is very easy to pick up if you're watching. I think this is a super easy game to watch, right? The, the systems are relatively intuitive. You got hunger and thirst. You got to manage by eating and drinking. You take negative effects if you go too long. You got pain, which you take in combat. Uh, that gives you negative effects. You lose. You have when you take damage. You take damage to your body parts, which hits your max HP. Uh, manage your inventory, and also there's a ton of skills and attributes to work through. Uh, I'm not gonna... Th th that's the very, very basics of it. And now we're just gonna get going. If you didn't watch the previous episode, uh, that's fine. Right? The tutorial's over. Uh, you are not a chosen one, the enemies are gonna beat my ass, is basically what they're gonna say. Uh, this combat looks kind of scary. I'm very scared. What is this? Attack mode. Okay. I'm, this is not seeded. Small-time heretic who hopes to elevate his position in the cult by diligently studying blood magic. Oh, good luck, dude. I hope you do well. Pain is the best proof of devotion. Flagellants incessantly torment themselves when they garner favor from their gods. Good idea. What is this? Sacrificial blood. 3% max energy for each massing percent of the affected target's max health. Cast against magic power if I take damage. Okay. Uh, we're gonna... I'm gonna try it. But yeah, getting getting cornered in a 2v1 isn't exactly how I wanted to start this one out. It's not like I overstepped or anything. I just walked in here and there were two enemies. Oh, he crit me. Ouch. That hurts. But they dropped me two unidentified items, which is sick. And not, my, not how I would want that one to start, let's just say. Not how I prefer that to begin. I'm gonna use some cells to just heal up my injured body parts. My body part is injured, cells healing efficiency is reduced. Ah, so if you have an injury, you, basically you can't just spam cells. You gotta use splints on injuries. Welcome to the part where I just shuffle my inventory around for a while. I'm gonna throw this book. I will identify the dagger. Handy short dagger. So the benefit it has is lowers energy costs and lowers fumble chance. Uh, I don't mind doing double dagger. That's kind of cool. Kind of, kind of badass. I mean, let's see what the the mace is as well. I'm gonna throw away all the flavor stuff. If you want to hear all the flavor stuff, I read it out in the last episode. I'd recommend peeping that. I want. Well, I gotta hold all here. The Unidentified Mace. Andy Militia Flail. Hmm. Armor Penetration, Armor Damage, Stun Chance, Lowers Accuracy. It kind of counteracts itself on the Fumble Chance, which is nice. Right, because this has a baseline plus 3% and then takes a minus 2 because of the enchantment. I'm going to run Double Daggers and we're going to see how that goes. It's very aesthetic to be Rogue. I don't necessarily understand how you lower your pain. Do you have to rest? Uh, this is this is the one thing. I think you have to use items like the ether inhaler to lower your pain. Which kind of sucks. I'm just going to be honest with you. It kind of sucks. Because I'm out, right? I don't have much more I can do. I'm not going to... I guess it goes down naturally, just very slowly. Uh, this guy has not seen me. I'm gonna try and kite these enemies out and be very- Oh, there's two of them. 
Let's try using this shout. Hey. And let's see if he just walks over to where I was. And then I can maybe just bait one of them in here. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, he's just, he's just question marking me. He's just standing there going, hmm, did I hear something? And I'm not going to do anything about that. And he said, you know, what if that's a swear? Oh, he couldn't path over to me because of the barrels. That's interesting. So I'm going to fight these guys in the hallway so that I can only fight one at a time here. Should have thrown a firebolt at him for sure. Also probably should have dealt with my pain and not just gone, ah, I'm sure it's going to be fine. I just won't get hit. I'm sure it's gonna be fine, just don't get hit is not a- Is this bat fighting the torture wreck? You winning, buddy? Yeah, I think he's winning. I hope he's winning. I'm dehydrated. That's good, I can drink water. Don't forget to drink water. Hey, I'm gonna drink some water in real life. <sighs> Refreshing. I'm gonna wait on the pain, I think it's fine. The enemies, they don't seem to know how to open doors, is something else I've learned. Oh fuck, he's learned how to open doors. Oh no. <laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> uh, hopefully the bat can't open the door at least. Uh, how's my pain? 46%? Okay. Time to stop being greedy and just ether inhale. And then we're just going to go around this corner. Don't you hit that door. The bat is attacking the door. Everyone, stay calm. I'm just going to rest while he fights. He, who's going to win? He's going in. Can you imagine just resting while this guy's going off over here? Who is it? Oh, no, I don't want any Girl Scout cookies. No, you've been knocking for a while, though. Poor guy. He was knocking his goddamn heart out, and then all of a sudden I opened the door. Ah, you know what? Die. Good foul, Sean. I think it's better than the Shiv. Also, my time in World of Warcraft has led me to- Oh, hey, what the fuck are you doing here? World of Warcraft time has led me to believe it's better to do sword in the main hand. Kinda depends on what class you are, though, and what spec. I'm assuming I'm like outlaw rogue here. You want the you want the dagger for the uh, the DPS, offhand DPS, but you need the high base damage in your main hand for your your abilities. Also, get the fuck out of my face, bitch! Bow. All right, we're hanging in there, hanging tough. Uh, one thing that I think I need to get in the habit of is I just need to like spam press the check for traps button. Ah, some blacksmith mittens. Give some very basic protection, and then we get some enchantment scroll. Check the shelf as well. Unidentified bow and a crowbar. Guaranteed to pick a lock or disarm a mechanical trap. Yo, sick. I'm gonna throw this flail, this mace away, I don't care about it. Uh, I also don't believe in this bow, even though it's blue, and everything in my brain goes, ah, a blue item. This must be insane. I think it's a bait. I think that using a bow is a bait. Oh, hey. What are you doing here? Holy shit, I triple crit him. Never seen- I didn't even know that spell could crit. But I feel like a reasonable strategy if you're a mage is to just, like, hit the enemy and then run like this. Ouch. I committed the cardinal sin and just walked up to him, but I was afraid he might have ranged attacked me again. A rat coming for me. And there used to be a rat coming for me. I'm gonna be very thorough in these dungeons, by the way. I'm very... I'm a completionist and things like this. I want... Oh, don't scream at me. Proselyte Harbinger. Proselyte women aren't uncommon, but many of them can't withstand the transformation and lose their mind in the process, turning into raving furries. Hmm. That's a weird... That's a weird, uh... side, side effect. I have leveled up. Cool. Uh, I need to find some food. I need to search a little more for food. What is this? Heroism. 
Hmm. So occasionally it seems like we get some benefits just randomly as long as we stay hungry. Or, well, you know, not hungry, but... Also, if a tile, if an enemy dies, they leave a tile of fire behind like that. You can kind of... Oh, God. It, don't hit that barrel. Hopefully this guy gets into the fire here. Nice. Now he's on fire. He'll take bonus damage the next time I hit him with my move. Shoot your move. Also, I will catch on fire if I walk into the fire, so you gotta watch out for that. I have tested that. I gotta break these open because I need food. All right, we're hungry. It's not a big deal right now, but it's gonna become a big deal, I think, if I don't do my due diligence. I also need to check for traps a lot. Nothing over here. Ah, right, check the barrels. It's nice to see that this isn't seeded. This tutorial is different this time than it was the last time I did it. I appreciate that. Oh god. Uh, can I hit around the corner? I can. Oh, the angle makes made me think I wouldn't be able to hit that. However, that was incorrect. These beasts are kind of garbage. Also, there's a lot of dead bodies in here. Oh, there's a trap here. I almost walked right into that. I'm going to be honest with you. What's going on with all these corpses? You guys okay? You step on a trap? Ah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> he did. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, that's terrible. That is just awful. Okay. <laughs> did you step on a trap? Whoops. Stepped on a trap. No, to be honest, I didn't think he stepped on a trap. I thought that he just, uh... Walk. I, this, this Iron Maiden was bloody. I thought that he just walked out of the Iron Maiden. I didn't even look at the ground. So, uh, the item I used, by the way, I should uh, point out. I used this alcohol. Lowers your thirst and your pain. Ups your morale. Makes you drunk. We spend 23 turns drunk. It uh, makes us take less... Make, do more damage, but, you know. Lowers your agility. Lowers your willpower. Higher chance to fuck up. And there's a chance that we... Walk a random tile, as you can see. I can't believe I went, did you step on a trap, and then stepped on a fucking trap. That's so ridiculous. That is such a me thing to do, also. Leg injury is stabilized, so hopefully it'll pass away. This is, this is, the goal here, by the way, is just to get to the next floor, which I have now found my way to. Oh, we found some cheese, I didn't even notice this. Very nice. And I offer you some nice cheese in these trying times. Like I said, I'm gonna like 100% explore this dungeon because I like doing that. Although, I know that, uh, I'm gonna give you a minor spoiler, the stuff from the tutorial doesn't carry over, so. I'm not gonna be too worried about it, right? I'm just gonna grab the, I'm gonna look for food. Did you step on a trap? Oops, I stepped on a trap. I even, it's its so ridiculous. I even, I learned what I was supposed to learn from that dead body. I, I, I got it, right? I learned it. And then I just fucked it up. I looked at that and I went, oh yeah, a dead body. That's, the last time they showed me a dead body, that was in the tutorial. That meant trap. Oh, well, lo and behold, I was correct. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the microphone here. 14 minutes. I don't know. How short do I want to keep these episodes? 14 minutes? Uh, so... What I have decided, and I will be editing... So if, if you're noticing a little bit of a weird jump in the episode, it's because I initially went to end the episode at 14 minutes when I finished this floor that I just left. However, I then realized, oh wait, there's probably only like five more minutes in this dungeon anyway. I thought there was one more floor. So if you notice a weird little jump there, that's my bad, very sorry. However, I have uh, reconciled. 
What do we get here? Flat kettle helmet. I could go for some kettle corn. Unrelated. Free protection, bunch of resistances, lowers your fire and shock resistance, lowers your energy and your energy restore. Uh, I'm probably, I'm going to give you a little hint. I'm probably not going to look too much at the percentage numbers that these items show me. I'm most likely just going to look at the big protection number. But yeah, apologies if you noticed a weird little skip in the episode there. I'm going to edit this video back together to make it be how I want it to be. There's a waterfall here. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice you could interact with this. What is this thing? A rondel. Uh, I think it's actually... I think that even though this item's enchanted, it's kind of like... The enchantment's kind of garbage. I'd rather just have flat damage. Actually, I might even want to just take the shield. What does the shield do? Lowers your fire resistance. Higher knockback, lower block... Or higher block chance. Block power. I don't know what block power means. Lowers energy, energy restoration, makes you do more noise, lowers your stealth. Okay, I can throw this thing away for sure. The peasant hatchet has a very high damage amount. What's its, what is its downside? Stuff like this has to have a downside, right? Armor penetration, body part damage is a little lower. I know what the next encounter looks like, so I'm just going to tell you. I know what I kind of need here. I don't have any more identification scrolls. Yeah, I could just throw this potion back and hope it's good. How do I... How do I get... Oh yeah, I also leveled up. I did this a lot when I played this the first time. I just forgot that I leveled up. Uh, let's try upping magic power and then take a skill. Let's try taking a pyromancy here. What do you got? Blaze. Target area range 3, energy 25, cooldown 8. Deal 13 fire damage to each target in its area of effect. Reduces cooldown duration for all this skill tree by one for each enemy hit. Okay. Passive plus 2.5% to pyromantic damage. Ring of fire. Target area. Range 1. Energy 25. Cooldown 15. Ignites surrounding tiles doing 16 fire damage to enemies. Has a 52% chance to ignite all affected targets and apply lower fire resistance. This seems bad because I would then catch myself on fire. When a bolt from fire barrage collects, connects with a burning enemy, duration of burning is prolonged by one turn. Okay. Utility, we don't know anything else here. Let me take I'm gonna take a skill specific, I think. Or if an attack which hits three adjacent tiles, deals bonus damage with bonus to bleed chance, bonus to counter chance for every enemy hit. What about maces? Onslaught. Target object, one range, thirteen energy, modified by strength and agility, requires a mace. Delivers a strike which burns energy. Chance to inflict knockback. If it successfully knocks the enemy back, the attacker advances and delivers an attack, extra attack. Lowers damage, higher ch day's chance. If you fail to inflict knockback, the cooldown is reduced. This seems bad. Uh, I, am, I know what the next encounter looks like. This doesn't seem good. I wanted to look at the maces because I have a mace. What about dagger? Delivers two strikes. If both strikes connect, the cooldown is reduced. Let's take this. This seems like fun. And did it say it was modified by agility? Strength and agility. Okay. I took willpower. Right. I knew that. I knew I took willpower there. Come on. Let's check in to make sure I can't, uh, you know, kill myself off that. That would be kind of silly. Oh fuck, there is another dungeon. I was right all along. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Um, okay, so actually welcome to episode three. Thanks for being here with me. I'm a fool. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Okay. I I was right. I thought there was another dungeon, but I also thought that that room led to... That, I thought that room was the final room. Okay. Okay, okay. I missed. I did not target the enemy. What a disaster. I may, I may edit this then to cut out me saying that I cut it out, and if I didn't, you know, you get a little look behind the scenes.
Like I've been saying in Retropolis, it's a big learning process. There's there's a whole lot. I shouldn't. I don't think I should stress so much about episode length. I'm not stressing it. Also, don't get me wrong. I'm probably just gonna leave in all of the all of the goofs at the start of this episode. So are you a mage? What do you do? Hierarch. Oh, you have skills. Seven summon blood golem. Oh, what the fuck? I have not seen this man. What are you? Chaotically pulsing manifestation of boiling blood, defiled flesh, and pernicious magic. Flesh explosion. Oh, he expl I'm glad I right clicked and expected this guy. What the hell? If you, uh, if he, after his health reaches zero, he explodes. I can learn a lot about these enemies by uh, reading their abilities, huh? Wow, this dungeon started starting off a little rough now, isn't it? I'm gonna fight here, right? So that they they have to funnel into me. It seems like a very large portion of this is using choke points effectively. I assume that I don't want to fight on the sigil summoning up Beelzebub. Lord of Darkness and Prince of the Shadows. Oh, we don't want to go there. Monk Staff. Ah, huh? so he's got a board monks. I was uh, kind of expecting this guy to die if I killed the dude who summoned him. I just gotta tell you, I'm very surprised that this man is here. How much damage did that do? Okay, so 22. He, does, he has about 60 health, right? 22 times 4. Yeah. Somewhere around 60 health. Okay, good thing I read what he does. I think I would have been able to figure out what he was gonna do there, though. Oh god, I'm gonna... I'm gonna burst, and then he just explodes. I think Stone, Stone Shard's exciting, because it has... Oh, what the fuck? There was another man. I have doomed myself. Plan basically is just to rush this fool. All right, I actually maybe it's okay. If like I think the this extreme onslaught is a great look at what's really fun about this game. Oh fuck! I clicked the monk staff. Okay, so uh, today I've learned that if you're running from the enemy, they get to hit you. That's what we've learned here today. I am now dead. Yep, I have died. This is understandable. I learned an important mechanic, and now we shall load. Oh, what the fuck? What a huge setback. Ah. Okay. Yikes. Uh, welcome to plot twist number three. I am just going to end this and call that the end of episode two, because... Uh, yeah, that's a big amount of time to commit to finishing this dungeon. It's not a big amount, it's like 30 minutes, but it's 4.30 in the morning. I was gonna just like real quick run through this at the end of my stream. However, yikes, dude. By the way, I want to point out there's no manual saving. So yeah, for the, uh, for the ultimate twist, uh, this is actually just going to be the end of episode two. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, I'll be back with more Stone Shard tomorrow. Uh, holy fuck, I gotta organize my YouTube outro. If you enjoyed, leave a like if you liked. Uh, drop me a comment explaining how, you know, the triple plot twist of me ending episode 2, not ending episode 2, and then actually tacking this onto episode 2 is just, it's too much. That's insane. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't believe I've done this to you. But, you know. Subscribe if you want to see more. Daily Stone Shard from here on out, most likely. And I appreciate it if you watched all of this. I really do. Thank you for being here with me. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.